Eddie Kennedy, or you can call me Brother Eddie. Um, just coming to the terms of what God seems to be putting on my heart, and maybe a lot of people's hearts. But for me, you know, it's been a long journey. I used to do announcing, hosting, marketing director, uh, live music, events, and entertainment. kinds of companies, a lot of snowboard, skate, um, extreme sports, action sports, uh, motocross, uh, BMX, I mean, you name it, ski, <laughs> and snowmobile, all the wild things, anything without a referee. took me a lot of places. I mean, life took me a lot of places, period. Um, just being who I was, so. It's been a long journey. I can't say back because I haven't been there yet. This is all new to me. Um, learning the things, the desires of God, the things that make Him happy, you know, just observe my law, my Ten Commandments. Um, you must be born again uh, with the renewing of your mind, baptized by the water, and the Spirit, and I've made the decision to be baptized um, soon. I will be joining the IMS, SDA Reform Movement Church um, here in Colorado. Right now I'm at beautiful Lily Lake in Colorado, and I'm encouraged to invite you to come to the baptism or to renew your vow God, if you already have been baptized. Um, it's a tough world, man. The world is changing. A lot of things are coming, and they're coming fast. And I just feel the urging of the Holy Spirit on me saying to come out of her, my people, um, that you may not take of her plagues. to that small voice that we call the Holy Spirit and depending on what you're listening to in your life or how many other voices you have that voice seems to get smaller and smaller well with me I've been really studying the Bible just consistently studying the Bible and really trying to apply those things to my life and that voice became louder and louder and louder it's louder than your own conscience it's the voice that tells you to do right do what's good. The Holy Spirit inspires us to do all things of God. We wouldn't even go to Jesus or the Father if the Father had not willed it. So he puts that desire in our hearts to follow him and to do things. Uh, I heard the call. The harvest is great, but the workers are few. And I know in my life, I've seen a lot of things happening. I've been a part of a lot of different things as far as uh, the events and things like that. I have to change my lifestyle. I have to observe the Sabbath. I have to do things that are in line with the will of God. Things that help people, helping kids, helping homeless, helping 
uh, people in jail, helping just all sorts of people, whoever he guides your way or leads to you or leads you to. And allow the Holy Spirit to do his work. We don't worry about others. We can only save our own soul. And with that, we need help. We need the ministering angels. We need the presence of God to be filling us with his Holy Spirit. And we need the blood of Jesus Christ. So that's why I made that decision based off of what God has done for me and he continues to do for me. The way he allows me to be a help to others or to be used with the talents that he's given me. And that's how I came to that decision. <laughs> I know this may come as a shock to a lot of people because I won't be able to do the things that I did before. A lot of the things I'm going to be involved in, I was already doing prior to me getting baptized and uh, joining the IMS. Uh, I was already doing prison ministries, going over to the jails and encouraging people with the Word of God, bringing Bibles, stuff like that. I was already feeding the homeless. I was already engaged in educational and youth and trying to do things with them. So. I'll continue to do those things and a lot more. Um, I just won't be able to do a lot of the events and the things that I participated in before. Um, it's going to be different. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be hard. And I ask that you bear with me. <laughs> you know, pray for me. If everyone's always asking, what do you need, man? If anything, prayer. <laughs>